In this video, we'll be comparing two installations of user-friendly operating systems, Ubuntu 24.04 and GoalsBSD 24.04.1. And first, I'd like to apologize if my voice sounds a bit unusual. It's the effects of the uh, steroids that I was taking. Hopefully, everything will come back as normal later. But anyway, the test machine we're going to use is my normal test machine that I've used for months and months and months. Uh, it's pretty reliable. It's an Intel Core 2 Duo E8400. Uh, it's got 8 gigabytes of RAM, GeForce GT710. And normally, as a 80 gigabytes... Uh, WD spinning hard drive, but it's on this occasion we've got 120 gigabyte SSD. Right then, uh, first we're going to download Ubuntu. So we're going to go to the Ubuntu website, and there's, uh, Bright Green says download now, uh, but we'll click up there to get Ubuntu. Download Ubuntu desktop. And it takes us to a download page. I think this is what it is. Uh, download 24.04 LTS. And I think it's downloading. Yes, it is there. So it's not too bad. Um, yeah. And speed-wise, well, I ain't got the fastest internet, but it's, it's going as fast as it can at uh, 3.6, 3.7 megabits per second. Ubuntu is downloaded, so now I'm going to download GhostBSD. And we we'll go over to the GhostBSD website, and it'll, so we'll look for download, which is at the top there. Download takes us straight to a download with options, uh, and I'll choose the closest to me, it's France, and we're off. That seems to be a bit easier than the Ubuntu one. Um, download speed's perhaps a little bit slower, but not too bad. Right, we're going to install Ubuntu first, so I'm booting the machine up with the USB in the USB socket. And first we've got a manual try and install Ubuntu, so that's, uh, we'll choose that one. And I'm going to time how long it takes us to get to the, to the live desktop, as it were. I don't know why. Oh, we've got a menu. Something's happening. I don't know why it's taken almost 10 minutes to get to this. But um, we'll fast forward a bit again. And there we go. Is that it? It's a, a norm desktop, but I'm not. Uh... Right. Okay. It's gone straight to the the install menu, which is. I mean, that's what I wanted, but I didn't select it. So it, it took a. It took almost eleven minutes to get there. I have no idea why. It's a good few years since I've installed Ubuntu, and uh, I can't remember if it usually takes this long, but... Oh, there we go. Choose your language. Okay, that's uh, English. Looks like all them bullet points at the bottom. There's going to be a lot of options. So, uh, English. Click on Next. Uh, accessibility, which is good that you've got the options, but we'll just... Uh, we'll click on Next on that one. Select your keyboard layout. Uh, you English UK. And next, uh, connect to the internet using wired. Uh, do not connect. Okay, well, we'll use wired anyway. Install Ubuntu rather than try. Uh, interactive installation or automatic. We'll keep it at that. We'll try and keep the defaults if you if you want. What apps would you like to start with? Default or extended? Uh, use default. Install recommended proprietary software. So it's uh, third party software for graphics and Wi Fi. E yes, okay. I won't install, I won't download uh, and install support, so that, that'll slow things down. Hopefully, it's going to uh, come back. Hopefully. Uh, hmm. Oh, there we go. Uh, do you, how do you want to install? Do you want to erase disk and install Ubuntu? Uh, yes. Advanced features, I don't think we need. So I'll have to click next. Um, your, your name. 
So there's this full name at the top, it automatically fills in the username. I would just put password. Okay, password again. And require password to log in. Yeah, okay, I'll leave that there. Select your time zone. Okay, oops, what? System program problem detected. Do you want to just report the program? Okay, no, I don't want. Why did it crash? I was just to put the time zone in and it's taken us out of the install. Right, okay, we'll try that again. Very peculiar. Uh, skip through all these. And we'll go back to the arrays. Okay, uh, but this time, um, use LVM. Oh, no, it's done. It's crashed again. I, uh, okay, uh, erase this and use ZFS. I'm asking for trouble. Create your account. Put password in. I'm glad that's remembered all the, the details that we put in earlier. Um, yeah, okay, next. Time's on again. This is right. And it's crossed again. Exactly the same place. All right, then. <clears throat> this is what the, uh, the log says. I don't know. Hmm, okay. Well, uh, close that. And we'll try again. Uh, advanced this time, we'll choose LVM, as we're going to choose it before. Uh, next, very detailed password. Time zone. And again. Again, so it makes no difference how we what we install. Authentication required. What on earth is going on? It's popping up with notifications of crashes on my crash notifications. It's a uh, send problem report to the developers. Well, I, I suppose we could, but I don't think it's going to tell them much. Hmm. Okay, we'll send it. And uh, uh, cancel this one, maybe. A collecting problem. Oh, my word. I don't want to send that one again. I well, might as well. This is getting on my nerves. Like a cascade. Okay, fine. And it started up Firefox for some reason. Invalid open ID transaction. Oh, good golly. Uh, one account. No, no, thank you. No. Right, okay. So. Close. Shall I try again? Okay. Uh. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to erase the hard drive. Completely erase it. That might be something to do with it. There's the uh, disk thingy. There's, okay. So it's been a while since I've used this. Going to... Are you sure you want to? Yeah, I'll delete the partition. There is no start fresh. I don't want authentication. <coughs> We'll start fresh. Keeps coming up with authentication. Okay. <laughs> this is, I'll tell you something, it's meant to be user friendly. This is, uh, it, it's bewildering. Okay, so I'll delete that one. And I think format partition. Here it is. Okay. As it is, maybe. Right, well, uh, up there. Okay. So hopefully, has that been done? Oh, it's doing it now. All done now, hopefully. 
but I don't reckon much this to be user friendly. Ubuntu of old, I mean, many, many years back, seemed to be in a lot more user-friendly than this. This seems to be, I don't know. The more they seem to take away, the more non-user-friendly it gets. Right, okay. So now that we've got a clean hard drive, I'm going to try... Right, okay. I'm going to try again. Skip through these. Erase disk and install. Yep. Password. Diddle them, diddle them. And next. Time zone. Let's see. I know it's still crashed. <sighs> so, I don't know. I really don't. I can't think of anything else. I mean, this test machine is infallible for me. It installs everything I ever want to it. Just Ubuntu is not. It's not sticking. I don't know what the problem is. Could it be the disk image, I suppose? Right, we're going to manually do the... Uh, we're going to manually install it. It's been a while. So SDA is what we want. So there's no one SDA. Um, okay. From what I can remember, many, many years ago, I'm just... I know we should do a separate home partition, but I think in this case... I'm just going to do one big root partition, and in that is going to be the home. So it's not going to be separate. Simply because I can't be bothered to do it, Drew. Right, so... Uh, okay, partition table. Okay. And it's crashed again. My God. Yeah, uh, every time you select something, it crashes. So we'll try again. Okay. So there's a new partition tail. It's doing it now. That's very odd. Free space. Uh, do I click on that plus? Okay. EXT4. And it's going to call it. <coughs> it's going to have a root one. That looks all right, and it seems to be fairly steady, so I'll click Next. Password. And hopefully we get some motion. Time's on. Uh, oh, oh, it didn't crash. It didn't crash. So that's interesting. Seems to me if you do it manually, it works. I wonder why that is. So we seem to be uh, copying. Uh, fast forward. Hopefully we can get somewhere. And it's crashed. <sighs> I thought we were going to do it then. Oh well. Never mind. I'll report the uh, problem from what good it does. Uh, and another crash, of course. I got crashes upon crashes here just as before. Send. Have I sent this one? I have no idea. Um, if anyone knows what the hell is going on, then drop me a, a comment in the comment section down below of why it seems to be crashing. And is that it? Yeah, that's it. I've had enough of this. It's a shame. Right, from the very same USB stick, on the very same test machine, I'm booting into Ghost BSD. Remember, it took about 15 minutes for uh, Ubuntu, for some reason, to get to the live session. And we're booting off the Ghost BSD image. Like I say, it's written to the same USB stick on the same test machine, so we'll time it once. Let's see what we can see. Uh, just over two minutes. Incredible. And as you can see, everything's laid out nicely. It's gone straight to the desktop. And we'll click on install. And we present it with language first. And we'll go down to English, United Kingdom. And 
going to find English you know, UK keyboard. I would imagine that the keyboard would have been automatically selected if you chose UK English, but it isn't the case, which is a shame. Just takes us there. English UK, just takes it a little bit longer, that's all. Next. Uh, continent is Europe, and city is London. Full disk configuration, yes. Click on the disk there. Leave everything as default. Uh, single disk, so we don't need to change that. Yep, next. FreeBSD boat only. Real name, Robot Nuggie. And password, a super secure password. And install. My goodness me, how quick was that? I mean, I'm not going to be slanted in favor of uh, FreeBSD and GhostBSD, but my goodness me. And then that's it. We're installed. Finished. It took about five minutes, if that. So yeah, a comparison of two user-friendly operating systems. One friendlier than the other. If, I mean, this, you know, this, film, this video is a little bit fun, not to be taken too seriously, but if uh, it makes you think that sometimes bigger isn't always better. Anyway, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing if you like more than one video. And if you do, then please hit the notification bell so you don't miss any more videos. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.